Hey guys, have you ever wondered who was the first Indian to make it big in Hollywood? No, it's not our Biggie Chops. What if I told you it was a Mahut from Mysore and the story of his life is no short of a stunning movie. Yes, you heard me right. Keep watching to know more. In the 1930s, a movie director by the name Robert Flattery came to Mysore. He was looking for somebody to play the lead role for his next movie, The Elephant Boy, which was inspired by Rudyard Kipling's short stories. On a hot afternoon, he walked into the Maharaja's elephant stables. Here, he saw a little boy playing with the elephant. The boy, on seeing a white man, got excited. He got onto the elephant and showed him a few tricks without realizing that he had just cleared his auditions. Robert, mighty impressed, asked the little boy if he wanted to come with him to London and star in a movie. The boy readily agreed. So who was this boy? His name was Sabu Dastagin. He was an orphan, having lost his mother at childbirth and his father at a young age. In fact, he was just all of 13. Sabu starred in the movie The Elephant Boy. It was a runaway success. He was not a one-time wonder. He went on to play the lead role in several movies, including The Thief of Baghdad, for which the movie won an Academy Award, The Arabian Nights, and most famously, the role of Mowgli in the first jungle book ever produced. Sapu caught people's attention not just for his good looks, but also for his natural acting and for how good he was with animals. He moved from London to Hollywood. Here, he became good friends with Ronald Reagan, who too was an actor back then and who, like you all know, went on to become the American president. Sabu's career was so illustrious that he was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In fact, he is the only Indian to have the distinction till date. He married an American actress, Marlon Cooper, they had a couple of kids together. Looks like the talent ran in the family. Paul Sabu, his son, had a band called Sabu and he produced music with the greats such as Madonna and including the popular TV series The Sex in the City. Sabu died young at the age of 39 and he is buried in the famous Forest Lawn Memorial Park in California alongside other Hollywood greats such as Walt Disney and Elizabeth Taylor. Imagine this for a moment. Sabu coming from the forest near Mysore and after being identified learns English, picks up acting, moves to London and stars in several movies and ends up being a celebrity in Hollywood. His life is no short of a stunning movie. But let me leave you with one small anecdote. A few years ago, I had these two lovely young ladies on my tour from England. When I showed them the picture of Sabu, one of them was very quick to identify him. I got curious because Sabu was relatively unknown these days. When I asked her about it, she said, Sabu was a good friend of her father. I got curious. And she said, her grandfather was a zookeeper in London and her father grew up in the London Zoo. And she said, Sabu, when he got tired of the big city London and missed home, he went to the zoo to spend time with the animals. And that's how her father and Sabu struck a lifelong friendship. You can take a person out of the jungles, but you cannot take the jungle out of the person. So that's Sabu and a stunning story. We'll be back with more. Stay tuned.